All right guys, hola, bienvenidos, welcome and welcome back. Now today, I got a kind of unique uh, tool bag. So we have the Riker bag, which is essentially a rolling tool bag with some cool features and unique things on it. So it's a rolling tool bag, have it there. We have all these uh, pouches and stuff. So uh, Riker bag sent this one out, they are technically sponsoring for a giveaway. So I will give you guys more details at the end of the video. So let's get into it. All right guys, so like I said, we have the uh, Riker bag. Like I said, essentially it's a rolling tool bag, so you're gonna unclip it. Has a nice little handle for you to carry it on. It does have these two little D-rings. Now those are like a hard plastic that you can clip a uh, shoulder strap too. I don't know if I ac accidentally threw it away. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to come with a shoulder strap, but uh, let's see if it's inside. Uh, if not, I don't have the package anymore. So you roll it out. You have several nice little zippers. Now they open up straight on top so that you can open it up. You see everything that's, that's in there. So you got one of those, another one, and Actually, you have four. So yeah, you have four of these full-size zippers, which you can essentially throw in wrenches. Now, if you guys are like me, you're in the HVAC field, you might want to set this up for like a maintenance or a quick troubleshooting or something of that nature. A super affordable, uh, tool bag, you know, and you can uh, throw, in, throw in some hand tools, you know, throw them in there, zip them up, roll it up all together. I'll throw some wrenches in there and, and kind of set it up for more of a mechanic style. Um, I have a bunch of like socket sets, wrenches, things like that, where I could put it in here instead of it taking up space in my... Uh, pack outs, you know, the van, I, I have those when I need to work on the car, um, whether it's my van or my personal vehicle. So this would be kind of cool for that. Like I said, you can also use it for maintenance, throw in uh, some brushes, some all-in-ones, multi-tools, uh, wire nuts, you know, things like that. You do have these two pouches on top. So you have these uh, right here, which the cool feature is that they're removable. So you could use them, you can take them out. If these are, you know, things that you need to take with you or swap out, you can do that. Got a nice little Velcro strip there. Easily put those back. You know, really cool. And then when you're done, roll it up. There is a mesh pass through right here and it just clips up. So you would roll it up, clip it through, roll it up and clip it through. And then you got a nice little uh, tool bag. Like I said, that's something pretty cool to me. I love that, you know, the little uh, pouches come off if you need them to. You can take them with you. Let's say it, let's say you want to roll this out somewhere and then you have that filled with wire connectors, uh, wire nuts, things like that. You can just take it off with you, kind of carry it with you as you're putting them on uh, around the unit. Uh, screws, you know, things like that. So really cool. I'm assuming I throw away the uh, shoulder strap. I'll look into it, see if it comes with it because you can hook up right here, take it with you. You got handles on it, so pretty uh, cool like that. I think you're supposed to put them together, but you know. Like I said, I'm going to use that for my mechanic gear, so I'll, I'll get that. I'll load it out real quick, show you what it looks like. All right, so it's my Milwaukee toolbox that just has all sorts of tools in here. You know, and I do have... I guess I took them out. I need to check my other car because I did work on my 
personal vehicle this past like couple of weeks but let me take out these wrenches there's a little ratcheting set and then let me go look for that socket set that i had so yeah guys you want to put some wrenches in there right put some wrenches uh, maybe close that one up and then also put some multi-tools cutters channel locks you know put some screwdrivers in another one put some specialty tools crimpers however you want to do that i know that's not i know you're probably going to carry a lot more than that but that's you know what i have right now and then these little ones you know put put a whole bunch of wire nuts wire connectors whatever you want to do however you want to sort this out put it all together and then you're going to roll it up and of course you'd have to adjust your straps once you fill it up you're probably going to max out this clip so that's you know packed out with some tools it's not going to be for like a heavy use case is just you know some screwdrivers multi-tools uh, things like that and uh, maintenance mechanic type of stuff all right guys my bad let me actually show you if my stuff can fit in there from a maintenance perspective so like i said some multi-tools let's throw those i don't know right here multi-tools channel locks screwdriver I do use an electric screwdriver. Um, these are my Schrader cores, extra caps, kind of leave them in a little baggy. We can throw those in the small ones up here. We got a brush. Uh, the only thing you wouldn't be able to carry is like a full size meter, but I do use one of these for my maintenance pouches. So if you guys are interested in the uh, this is actually a voltmeter, a multi um, use, uh, has capacitance, ohms, continuity, all that stuff. If you want to see a video on that, I do have one. I will link it. So that could be my meter there. And we also have a stubby cutters, multi tool, Allen key set, jumpers. That's another thing you can put in one of these pouches. So put some jumpers in this one. And like I said, wire nuts, you know, stuff like that. Throw in some zip ties. You would obviously organize it so you know what's in what bag. Whole bunch of wrenches. So that's kind of the maintenance loadout that I have. I'm gonna do a full video on that soon. This is just a demonstration. So let's say I wanted to use this as my maintenance bag. That's basically it. Uh, I am missing a thermometer. I kind of lost my last one, so let's roll this up now. Or, yeah. Where are my clips at? So, yeah, it's barely going to fit. So, for maintenance, for me, that's what it looks like. It's very packed out. Uh, I am max out, maxing out the uh, things there, but you could, instead of looping it, I mean, that's if I loop it. If I don't loop it, we just clip it like this, which might be better. It's less hassle. So let's try that. Realistically, that might be your your best bet there that doesn't look as bad and then if you want maybe cut these off or whatever but that's a load out there that's a maintenance bag for me uh, like i said you can put a shoulder strap so i'm just going to use the veto one that i have since i don't know what happened but it's supposed to come with one i'll double check and then you just carry it you know on your shoulder like that and just so you know what the back looks like you have this main handle here you have another handle right here and you have another handle at the bottom and uh, like I said, you can also kind of store this in the van. I have something similar from Vito, where, but it's open pouches where you can kind of like 
just stand stuff up in it. But if you want something, you know, relatively affordable that you want to hang in your in your van, like I said, you can hang it from here. You can hang it from these rivets, uh, secure it to your, you know, one of the or the divider in the van because that's where I have mine. But I have a Vito one and it was way more expensive. Uh, you can kind of hang this up and kind of make make use of it for cleaning supplies, uh, first aid kit. You know, there's there's a lot of different things you can do with this little uh, this little bag here from Riker. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks to Riker for sending this out. This is the Riker bag. Right now, it's still packed out. I put on the Vito uh, shoulder strap, so you basically would you know put it on, kind of wear it out like this, have it. Um, Take it up with, with you on a you know high rooftop, things like that, or just walking around with it. It's super light. You know, there's not much to the bag. It is cool though, like the idea of it, just being able to unclip it and roll it out right here on top of like a condensing unit um, or a walk-in condenser, you know, whatever you're, you're working on and just have your tools laid out and you just, you know, go through, unzip them and you can see basically everything because the only issue with some of our uh, tool bags is that it's a catch-all for a lot of tools unless you have something that has like uh, little slots for each tool which essentially you know you can't carry as much if you just throw it all together like this in the pouch but you have four different pouches to kind of you know distinguish which one you need to maybe you have one full of screwdrivers one full of wrenches uh, one full of multi-tools, you know, stuff like that. And then you have all your little knickknacks as far as wire nuts, connectors, uh, shredder cores, and these little pouches that are removable, which is another cool thing, right? It's modular. I kind of like that, that idea, even though I'm not super sure what I would use that for. I like that it's there. So, you know, and if you don't want to roll it out flat or you don't have space to, you can always use one of my magnets. This is a 100-pound magnet. Uh, you can find it in my tool link, how to make one. I don't officially have a product out yet, but uh, from Amazon, you can kind of build these out. 100 pounds can hold any tool bag. I've held uh, all my Vito bags on it. It can even hold a loaded out install uh, Vito backpack. So this holds 100 pounds. So let's say you're at the unit and you don't have anywhere to lay it out. You can just hang it off the side of the... Uh, unit right you put a magnet on there or if there's a handle you can put, you can hang it from this little um, handle on the tool bag itself there are little rivets here too um, if you want to mount it somewhere but you can use the magnet right with the carabiner or something like that and just have it on the side of the the panel of the unit and then you have easy access to all your tools now if you open it they're not going to fall out they just kind of hang there and you can grab what you need very cool, very unique to me. And that's why I told them I would check it out. They wanna give one away. So if you guys would like to win a bag for yourself, go ahead and leave a comment. Make sure you're subscribed, drop a like as well. And let me know if you guys want one down in the comments. You know, if you guys want one for maintenance, for a quick service bag, uh, mechanic bag, storage, cleaning supplies, first aid kit. I mean, you could use this thing for so many different things. It's a really cool, unique bag, and I enjoyed looking at it, showing you guys how I would, you know, kind of use it. All right, so this is all hand tools, and what I ended up doing is using this to hold my two gauges. The uh, adapters are there. I got the uh, two temperature clamps and then my meter I just kind of throw it in this big one here and it fits now the reason I would do this is only because it's my personal vehicle that I keep this bag in but it's a little too tall and I'll show you what I mean right now so normally I would put them in a grate like this I'd hang or put the bag in there so that I could kind of clip it so it's not swaying back and forth or rolling around back here and it did not fit in this uh, little storage area that I had. But now, the Riker bag fits perfect. The field piece bag is actually a little too big. That fits perfectly in here, so that's not an issue. This one, you kind of got to squeeze in there a little bit. You know, it sticks up a little bit. 
but gauges and meter, hand tools, and then I got, you know, the stuff that I need to work on my car, a uh, air compressor, you know, and I can hide it back here without any of that issue. Can take the gauges out of here too. I would just need like an extra hose if I need to charge. And that's about it. But ideally I'm not doing that with this. Those tools are just in case I need them. And pressure in case I want to check, you know, pressures. I Eventually I'm gonna buy a truck, but I'm still stuck with this SUV that's paid off. So and that's where I can put my tools. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So remember to enter in the contest, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll get you entered. We'll draw a winner next week. Oh, and uh, if you guys wanna see behind the scenes of anything that I record with, film with, how I edit, uh, the studio tour kind of stuff, uh, make sure to check out my second channel. I'm, gonna, I'm really gonna try to commit to that, show you guys how I do that kind of stuff because a lot of people like to see uh, behind the scenes and the content creation because we have so many people this year that have gotten into uh, content creator or whatever you want to label us uh, you know for work stuff and tool reviews and there's plenty of opportunities there if you guys want to go check out that second channel I'm going to show you how I do things um, sponsorships tour reviews you know how I edit film all that good stuff and you know go subscribe over there let me know if that's something you're interested in too on that channel. And like I said, for this one, just enter down below. Um, appreciate everybody who's watching, who has subscribed here. I really appreciate the 7,000 milestone and I'm gonna shoot for 10,000 this summer. So if you guys enjoy, please, please subscribe and I will see you guys.